We are the preservers of the balance, now and forever, as Malfurion lies in the dreaming. Never forget this. Druids are keepers of the world who walk the path of nature, following the wisdom of the ancients and scenarios, healing and nurturing the world. To druids, nature is a delicate balance of actions in which even the smallest imbalance can create a storming turmoil from peaceful skies. Druids draw their power from this wild energy, using it to change their shapes and command the forces of nature. Traditionally, druids chose the path of a specific animal totem. Since the invasion of Burning Legion, however, most druids have undergone a number of reforms, including encouraging the study of magic from all totems. Druids who do this are known as Druids of the Wild. Druids come and go as they please, and their goals typically have little to do with the civilized world. Unaffiliated with any specific government, the primary druidic organization on Azeroth, the Sanarian Circle, answers to no one. The highest rank that a druid can have is that of an archdruid, and there are only few archdruids on Azeroth. At the moment, the Sanarian Circle's leader is archdruid Malfurion Stormrage, also widely considered to be the first mortal druid on Azeroth. Through their deep connection to life and nature, druids are able to take on an unusually large variety of roles. Probably a druid's best known role is that of a healer. Druids are justly famed for their ability to restore life, cure poisonous wound and remove curses. Indeed, restoring and protecting the planet is one of the top priorities for all druids. Still. To regard Druid as merely a healer is a dangerously simplistic assumption that has led to the defeat of many unwary foes. Druid's empathy with the creatures of the wild also allows them to shapeshift into the forms of other animals. A wounded Druid might take on the form of a bear in order to better withstand further injury. Alternatively, the Druid might shift into the form of some large cat sneaking up behind an enemy, then pounce and deliver a fierce flurry of melee attacks. Even the deepest oceans can be explored by druids, who can simply shift into an aquatic creature, allowing them to stay underwater as long as needed. Until the end of the Third War, druids periodically visited the Emerald Dream to monitor all life on Azeroth. Today, such a visit has become more difficult due to Nordrasil's poor health. Druids possess a deep understanding of the way in which all living things depend upon one another. Whenever this delicate equilibrium is disrupted, it's the druids' work to restore the balance. To that end, druids can use their connection with the Emerald Dream to exert a calming influence over animals, even forcing some into a temporary state of hibernation. And as the druids can wield peace, they can tap into the fury of nature itself. Terrible storms respond to their call, thorns sprout from their skin to wound their attackers. Even previously harmless roots grow from the soil at greatly accelerated speeds in order to entangle foes. Druids thrive in the wild outdoors for obvious reasons. Inevitably, however, they lose some of their effectiveness when they are forced to endure separation from the natural environment. After all, what good is a cleansing rain when a druid cannot even see the sky?